Ten Tanks Turkey with a 3,000-year-old flint by William Hovey Smith. Hello. I'm primarily noted for the book Backyard Deer Hunting, Converting Deer to Dunner for Pennies a Pound, in which I talk, as you might suspect, about deer hunting, but all other stuff too, including turkeys. Now this is the setup that's in this video. I'm sitting in an elevated tree stand and overlooking a food plot and you see two turkey decoys in it. This picture was actually taken after the fact, after I'd killed a turkey. But this had been quite a saga. This gun I used I bought 20 years ago from Val Forget of Navy Arms Company and it had yet to take a turkey. Well, now it's going to get one. So let me tell you about it. I'm Hovey Smith, and we have just concluded a successful hunt for wild turkey with a flintlock gun and a piece of chipped arrowhead here that is between 1,000 and 3,000 years old. An Indian may have killed something with his arrowhead, and now I have just shot a turkey with his flintlock using this arrowhead fragment as a flint. Oh, well, this has been day number three of Georgia's turkey season. So we managed to get one after seeing absolutely nothing for the previous two days. Woo! <laughs> the reason I got this turkey is I was walking in this morning and I saw the flock down on a lower food plot. And turkeys usually move uphill. So I didn't dare try to disturb those. So I just moved up here, set up my decoys, did a little calling, and about half an hour, a couple of hens came in in the upper part of the food plot, and they fed down. And then I started to see some toms coming up this way. Now, this is a satellite tom. Uh, he is not the big boss gobbler. The big boss gobbler was down there servicing the hens. You know they do that? They can breed from 12 to 15 hens a day? Wow! <laughs> yeah, they get it on when they get it on. And meanwhile, this fellow was looking for some, and, well, he found my decoys instead, and he found a .440 lead ball. So we had a chance at him at about 70 yards, then at about 50 yards, then at about 30 yards, and finally at about 25 yards. I couldn't stand it anymore, and I lowered the boom on it. Well, the flint sparked good, and it went, and the gun went bam, and the turkey went bam, and he moved about, oh, maybe four yards, just flapping in his death throes. He was, he was well dead. And... Uh, so that was it, guys. So at any rate, we were successful. And we got him. And I'll move the camera and give you a closer look. There. And there he is, and there's that flint. For a 3,000 year old rock, it did pretty good. Okay. But nice, nice, very, very colorful. Very, very pretty tom, tom turkey. Not the biggest turkey in the woods, but I'm awful glad to have him. But now, this is Hovey Smith reminding you to hunt what you eat, eat what you hunt, be legal, be ethical, be safe. Goodbye, and God bless. When I got the turkey home, he weighed 17 and 3 quarter pounds. He actually did have a 10 inch beard and 3 quarter inch spurs. This is a companion video to a live radio show, Hobie's Outdoor Adventures, that was broadcast in April 2011. To listen to this show, go to my website, www.hobiesmith.com, and you hit the live link to the webtalkradio.net show page. And look up at the top, and you'll see archive shows. Hit that, that'll bring up all my past shows, and then you can listen to it. Got books too, backyard deer hunting, crossbow hunting, extreme muzzle loading, and practical bow fishing. Good hunting and good eating from the outdoors.